Hey guys, it's Mr. G, and in this video, I'm going to go over Unit 3, Lab 2, Page 2. So if you haven't watched Page 1, I would suggest you go back and watch that first before coming to this section. So over here, we're going to detect winds and ties on the tic-tac-toe board. And this is probably going to be a three, four, or five part uh, series. I'm actually not quite sure because I'm going to break it down into smaller chunks so we can do this. Now, if you go through the instructions for you to do and the take it further and if there's time, there's a lot of things to accomplish and it's not very easy to figure this stuff out. So what I've done is I've kind of like turned it into my own language of what they're trying to get us to do. So I've kind of broken it down into seven steps and here's what we got to do. First, we have to identify winning triples and create a reporter that can output all of the possible winning triples that exist on the board. And we're going to name that reporter Tic-Tac-Toe Wins. Then we're going to find out if a winning triple has happened. So for example, if we have XXX in 1, 2, and 3 in those three slots, then or those three items, I should say, of board, then we're going to know that there's a winning triple that has occurred, or if it's 0, We're going to experiment with this map block, and we're going to try to figure out how it works, because we're going to use it for number three. We're going to make a status of triple that takes in a list right over here as an input and reports a list of which squares are occupied by which player. Okay, so you're going to see that we're going to use this map block and try to figure that out. I think that's good to start off with. Um, maybe we'll get to four in this video or maybe not depending on how long it gets. Okay, but number four is to use map and tic-tac-toe wins to make a block that reports the status of all possible winning triples as lists of lists. So it's going to tell us if there's a win or a winner in one of those winning triples or if we have a match basically. Okay, so let's start off with number one. Identify winning triples and create a reporter that outputs all possible winning triples. And we're going to name it tic-tac-toe wins. So, in going over to snap, we are going to make a reporter. We're going to make a block, make a reporter that is inside of lists, and it's going to be called tic-tac-toe-wins. And what this reporter will do is it's going to keep a, basically a list of lists. It's going to keep a list that has all of the possible winning combinations or winning square numbers, if you remember from the first video, um, inside of it. So this is going to be a list of lists, and we have to figure out how many possible wins there are. So I'm going to just go across. So 1, 2, and 3 is a winner. 1, 2, and 3. And actually, I can't do it here. I have to put all of this inside of a list. And we have to keep adding items to this list. So let's see how many possible wins there are. There's 1, 2, 3. There's 4, 5, 6. So let me bring over another list. And that is going to report 4, 5, and 6. 4, 5, 6. Also, another possible winner is going to be... Actually, let me expand this a little bit. There we go. The next possible winner is going to be 7, 8, 9. So let's bring over another list. And identify that as 7, 8, and 9. Let's see. 1, 4, and 7 is going to be a winner. So that's the first column going down the column, one, four, seven. Then two, five, and eight is going to be a winner. So let me bring two, five, and eight, and that's going to be going down the middle column. Two, five, and eight. And then the third column is going to be three, let's see, three, six, and nine. So let me add another item there, and this one's going to contain 3, 6, and 9. I keep clicking that for some reason. 3, 6, and 9. Okay, now another possible way to win is to go diagonally. So that's going to be 1, 5, and 9. 1, 5, and 9 is also a winner, so I've got to add another list item that has the three values of square that would cause a win. 1, 5, and 9. And also going diagonally in the other direction. So 3, 5, and 7 would also be a winner. 3, 5, and 7. Okay, I got to add this. And there we go. So there's eight possible winners on the entire board. 
There's no other combinations. Those are all the possible winning plays that you could have. Okay? So we identified the winning triples, and we created a reporter that reports them all um, when you call it. So let me actually apply, and let me show you guys this in action. So if I bring over Tic-Tac-Toe wins, when I click on it, it should report back a list that has all of these different winners. There we go. And right now I'm in table view. So if I bring it to list view, you guys can see that it's reporting back. I guess there's so many that it always wants to do table view, but you guys can see that it's reporting back the correct list of winners. Okay. And hopefully I didn't make any mistakes, but I guess I'll catch that later on if I did. Um, secondly, we want to find out if a winning triple has happened. Okay. So for example, if there's XXX in one, two, and three. Now in the lab, it told us to experiment or try using map item of board over a specific list. So let me actually try to figure out how that block works. So I'm going to start creating it exactly how they have it in the lab. So I bring over map and we use the item of, there we go. And we don't want to say use item one. We just want to leave that blank because it's going to take all of the items inside of a list and throw them in there or oh, yeah that's exactly what it's going to do so the item of board so let me go to board okay over and over here it says to throw in list one two three so let's see what happens when i throw in list one two three so list one two and three one two three so there i have it exactly as they have it in the lab or in the curriculum so i want to see what happens when i click this and it looks like it's saying empty, 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 because right now my, my board is empty. So let me actually start clicking on some of these and let's get an, let's get an X in one, two, and let's put an O in three. And now if I click it, it's actually reporting back exactly what's in those positions. So at this point, you might be like kind of thinking of ways to use this block to kind of identify if we do have a winner. So what we, I mean, just thinking about it right now, what we could do is we could check all of those different winning triples and see if we have XXX or OOO inside of any of them. And if we do, that means we have a winner. All right. So if you didn't understand what I just said, think about it slowly or maybe rewatch what I just said. So what I can do using this block is check out all of my winning triples or all of the winning possible winning triples and see if we have an XXX or OOO in any of them. Because if we do, then we have a winning game or a winning player. And then we'd have to decide who's the winner. Okay. But that's enough foreshadowing for right now. I actually want to see how this list works. So the, the way the map is working is it's going through the board and then it's checking to see what's in, in the item list one, two, and three. So if I change this to three, four, and five, right now it should only report that three has an O in it. Actually, three has an O. Sorry, that's not three. The second row is four. So it should only report an O inside of four. And then five and six should be empty. So when I click it, sorry, <laughs> I messed up my list. So I gotta do four, five, six. There we go. Now when I click it, it should say that four has an O in it and five and six are empty. And that's exactly what it reports. So this is great. We're on our way. And I'm already starting to think about ways that I can use this block to kind of check if there is a winner. So for number three, it says make a status of triple that takes in a list as an input and reports a list of which squares are occupied by which player. So the way we want to do that is we want to use that map block and we're going to basically create a new block using that map block inside of it. It's going to be a reporter and it's going to, well, let's call it status of triple. And then it takes in a list. So let me, let me name it list for now, but let me think, I'll just call it list for now. Maybe that's not the best name for it. Eh, whatever. We'll try it right now and then we'll change it if not. I want to make sure that it's a reporter and I'm going to hit OK. There we go. And what I want this status of triple to do is take or use map. Okay. Use map to report back the, the item of the board 
over the list that was passed in. So I know that could be a little bit tricky. So think about this. What I want to do is instead of hard coding the list items that it should check or the blocks that it should check, like four, five, six, I want to be able to use this. I want to make this usable in multiple places. So what I want to do is instead of like hard coding where I wanted to check, I wanted to check whatever the person passes in as a list. And I just realized that when I made this, I didn't declare the list to be a list. This list variable isn't going to be identified as a list. So I got to I gotta change that a little bit. I gotta change the input type or the data type. So I'm gonna go over here to, what I did was I just clicked on list. I clicked on this black arrow over here, right next to input name, and I'm gonna declare it as a list. So it knows that it's going to be a list that's gonna be coming in. There we go. And now I can use this list inside of my map block that I just created. Okay? So it's expecting a list. I might use this later on, but I could, do, I could use different lists um, and keep in mind that I have a, a whole block full of list items or lists of lists that have the winning triples, which I might be able to use over here later on. So all I want this to do is check to see what items are inside of whatever list items are passed in. I'll say that one more time a little bit slower. The way that status of triple works is it takes in a list, okay, and in this case, it's probably going to be a list of three three uh, blocks or possible blocks and it checks to see what is inside of them and it reports that back as a list. So I'm going to hit apply and I'm going to try it out. So I'm going to use status of triple and I'm going to pass in, remember before I hard coded it inside of map, I'm actually going to pass in that list four, five, six, and it should report back to me what's inside of four, five, and six. So right now it should be O empty, empty and it works, perfect. Now I could create another list and let's check to see what's inside of one, two, and three. And when I drag that in there and I click it, it says XXO, which is exactly what we see on the board. So now you guys can start seeing that this status of triple is so much better than having to hard code all of them with the list inside of them. Let me create another one. Let me create another list to check. And let's check seven, eight, and nine. So when I pass that in, it's gonna say empty, 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 because right now there's nothing inside there. And that's exactly what it does. Let me actually click inside here. Let me put an X inside of eight. And when I click this, it says X is in the second position. Perfect. Okay, so you guys can start seeing that I'm creating all of the, basically all the winning possibilities or the winning list or square numbers, I should say. So I'm just creating this list, which I already did over here. So I have a list of all of these. I have a list that has all of these. And maybe I'm going to try to figure out a way to check all of these inside of here. Now this probably won't work because this, this status of triple is checking. It's checking. It's, it, it isn't expecting a list of lists. It's expecting just one list. Okay. Now I actually want to see what happens when I click on it. I just get empty, 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 and I mean, this is a problem. This does not work because if you think about it, status of triple just expects one list, okay? Not a list of lists, which is exactly what tic-tac-toe reports. It reports a list that has all of these list items in it, okay? So that won't work. What will only work is using a list that has three items inside of it, and that's what we want, okay? So I'm going to stop this video right here. And I'm going to continue on number four in the next video, in part two. Thanks for watching.